YouTube, what is going on? This is Jay from Jay's Way. I'm trying to make this kind of quick and get through this little first introduction right here just because there's cars coming through and it keeps getting loud. But uh, this is going to be the first performance upgrade I've done to the uh, Dodge Charger GT. And I hope y'all enjoy this video, man. Now, with this, with this upgrade, I've done cosmetic upgrades and stuff like that. With this upgrade, there's no increase in your uh, horsepower, your torque, anything like that. All this upgrade does is unleash what you already have basically it gives you the torque and horsepower at a faster pace like you're supposed to you know back in the day on vehicles you had a cable that went from your accelerator to your throttle body and now you've got computers in between sensors in between this right here unlocks all that and gives you like it used to be just the cable to your throttle body but it is going to be the power commander I'm, or I say power commander, pedal commander. I, I don't know why I get that mixed up. But anyways, the pedal commander, which I'm pretty sure most people have already seen. This is good, the Bluetooth edition. Uh, now, I've heard a few people have problems out of the Bluetooth edition. I'm not really too sure how it's going to work. I'm not going to hit with the Bluetooth to start with. I am just going to use it with just the uh, device itself. Uh, with that being said, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around or... Actually, I'm not going to turn it around. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to do the install on this. If anybody needs to see an install video, I can do one. But there are plenty of install videos out there already. I'm just going to show you what it will do to a V6 because I haven't seen it on too many V6. There's a couple videos out there. But they're not showing you the full potential of what the Pedal Commander can do to that V6. So, And I have not seen one yet for a GT. So we're going to find out what it can do. Anyways, see you all in a sec, man. I'm going to get this thing installed car's been sitting for a minute so i should be good to go catch y'all in a few youtube what is going on this is jay man hey look this is a different day than the installation day for the pedal commander uh i didn't do it the same day just because i wanted an accurate uh opinion of what my opinion was going to be of it and with that being said in a short statement i like it man i think it turned out good i i know it don't add no horsepower or torque to your car but i do believe it made my car faster uh, and to be honest with you, this would be great for somebody that doesn't already have the sport package on their car because it kind of feels like it kicks that sport package in like a, like a shift box, I guess you could say. It's like it holds the gears out by itself. Uh, it, by, it bypasses and throws it into sport mode almost. Now, it does drive even faster once you turn your sport package on. Now, by, by me saying it made my car faster, the reason I know that is because I do have the sport, uh, super sport track on my car and it shows me my times and stuff like that. Well, I had some times up here on my, that I could not beat. And with that being said, I could not beat them because when I hit those, I was going on a downgrade. So those times right there were hard to get again. I had like a six one on my zero to 60. I know that ain't that quick, but this is a V6. I had a 14, eight on my quarter. Now yesterday I had it on, what did I have it on? Uh, sport plus one or sport plus two if i'm not mistaken and i had my sport package on and i was not on a downgrade whatsoever i was it might have even been a slight upgrade well i hit a i broke the quarter mile by 14.5 you know it was a 14.8 and then i matched the zero to 60. so to me it made the car faster i would recommend getting it i don't really like the price point but at the same time if you don't have the sports package this is what you need before you do anything else to your car. In my opinion, as far as performance goes, I would get that and see what you thought about that. Uh, now, I don't have a whole lot of clips of me running and stuff like that. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how the RPMs arise and stuff like that. Uh, they're, they're a little bit faster than it was. A little bit, nothing, it, they, they ramp up. I mean, y'all seen how Pedal Commander works, man. RPMs are ramp up, but I'm gonna flip it around, show you one time. and. All right, I'm gonna pull over. You know, some people are saying you can change this thing while you're going as long as you're not on the gas. Me personally, I don't wanna do it. If they're saying don't do it, I don't wanna do it myself. So I'm gonna pull over. I don't wanna be moving when I do it. Uh, so I'm gonna swap it over to Sport Plus and then I'm gonna go up to Plus Two. You can see it right there. Anyway, 
All right. Like I said, we got it on Sport Plus, and then we got it on Plus 2. And then I'm also going to turn my Sport Package on. And you got your miles per hour right here, and then you got all your timers. So I'm going to pull out here. Good guy. Ain't no doubt about it, man. You can feel that. I mean, there's a noticeable difference. All right. Here we go. We're going to hit the quarter in zero to 60. I started out kind of slow. It's kind of started out slow. I, uh, my foot kind of slipped. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to got the camera going at the same time, you know. But see, it says six four on my zero to sixty. The quarter of a mile is a fourteen eight. Let's see what else did we hit right then. Oh yeah, uh, zero to hundred. We got a sixteen six. So that's not bad, man. It's not the six one or the uh, fourteen five that I hit. And this is the same road I hit it on, which I was talking about earlier. And I think I said earlier that I hit it on a, when I was in Sport Plus 2, but I was in Sport Plus Plus 2. So Sport Plus Plus 2 is no joke. I'm not trying to run it up there on 4, you know, Plus 4 or anything like that right now. I'm pretty sure my times will be a little bit better like that. So I'm going to give you all another little quick uh run right here from I'm going to go ahead and pull it down to a stop we'll do a 0 to 60 my sport package is off but I'm still in sport plus 2 and you see we hit a 6.8 on the 0 to 60 then I think the quarter I'll let off way before the quarter hit. But that's pretty much it, man. And it sure has kicked to it. All right, final conclusion on the pedal commander, man. In my honest opinion, I would say get it. It might not be worth a total of $300 towards everyone, but it's worth it, man. It's worth it to have it, especially if you have a standard V6 without a sport package. Uh, it's worth it if you have the GT with the sport package. It's worth it if you got the Hemi. To me, it's worth it. It's not adding any more horsepower or torque to your vehicle, but it's giving you the power that you already have. Now, I should be playing a clip right now that shows you how fast your RPMs shoot up, man. How fast your horsepower shoots up. And uh, I, the clip with the RPM shooting up, I think I said right there before I ended the uh, video, was uh, you barely touch it, man, and, and them RPMs are going to shoot up regardless if you touch it, especially if you got it in Sport Plus. So just be cautious if you got it in Sport Plus. Don't race it on the road like that or anything. Um, you know, save that for the track, man, or just a dead-end road or whatever, you know, if you're out there by yourself. Now, personal preference, I would say, you know, use Sport on the highway or something like that if you want to gas on it. But I wouldn't necessarily use Sport Plus, especially not if you got a Hemi, man. Things gonna get out from under you quick. The GT about get out from under you. Uh, but y'all just keep it easy out there, man. Y'all take it easy and be careful. And like I said, I do recommend getting the uh, Pedal Commander, especially if you don't have that sport package already. But that makes a perfect uh, performance upgrade, especially to be the first performance upgrade you put on your vehicle. In my opinion, I give it an A+. So until next time, y'all keep it real. Y'all stay easy. I'm gonna see you real soon. Peace.